And now this, Norfolk Public Schools reopening plan is leaving many parents with many more questions than answers. Right now, there's no set date for students to return, but leaders, school leaders say they're safer that way. News 3 reporter Kofo Lasaki explains what's next for students. I appreciate everyone's endurance. Um, this is very important, obviously very important business. After a lengthy night of discussion, the Norfolk Public School Board approved a plan to return to in-person instruction. The school board voted to keep the health and safety of our students and staff foremost in mind when we approved the return of students. The board voted to phase students back into the classroom using a hybrid model, but only once the health indicator set by the CDC fall in the lower or lowest risk of transmission for COVID-19 for at least 14 consecutive days. There will be a three week transition between the phases for different grades as long as numbers remain in the green. Frustrated, maybe a little bit angry. Cassie Hitchcock wants to move forward with reopening right now for her six year old son in first grade, who she worries is falling behind while learning virtually. He really needs to get in, you know, and it's super frustrating to see him struggle and, you know, not be able to, to grasp it the way that he he should be able to if he was in class. For parents anxious for their children to get back to the classroom, the new plan isn't putting many at ease. Have to, I think they should, you know, allow those teachers to do the virtual school and the teachers who are willing to go back, I think they should allow them to go back and I think they should allow students to go back as well. The first phase includes students with disabilities and English learners. It could begin as soon as November 4th if metrics are met. Students still have the option to stay virtual for the rest of the semester. We know that there are benefits to in-person learning and so we're trying to get there. Um, we're also trying to build some consistency and, and give our community matrices by which we are framing our decision making. Following the CDC guidelines is the only way the board says it saw fit to open schools. As for Hitchcock, she and her son will be anxiously waiting for that day. Kofo Lasaki, News 3.